Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play, part 34. So, as you can see, Cory finally eventually got down to bedrock, and it's, uh, yeah, big, big room. Obviously, it ended up going down a bit below level 6, because obviously bedrock isn't smooth, and as you see, I've still got mobs spawning down there, but whatever. Had to expand this area quite a bit, but the basic concept is still the same. Stuff comes out of the quarry over here, goes underneath the floor, comes up out here. Then this diamond pipe sorts out dirt, cobblestone, and gravel, and then it goes out. So the so if dirt, cobblestone, and gravel come up through here, goes to this pipe, and then we'll have the chance to go here. And have the chance to come up here, and then the cobblestone goes through this pipe here. Comes over here, comes down here, goes into the recycler, that then recycles it, dumps it into these two chests. However, it also, down there, has a chance to go this way. And then down here, uh, by putting it up here, it forces it to go up here, and then it'll go out there. So that sets, so right now it sets up all cobblestone in the system goes to recycler. By simply taking this and putting it down here, then it sets so that roughly 50% of cobblestone goes to recycler. So everything else goes into these chests. And it's a simple, as you can see this is full. Um, it goes, the pipe goes through all these chests, and then works its way around, loops around, goes to all those chests, and finally it works its way all the way over there. The farther it gets from the source, the fewer blocks are in each chest. These early chests are all pretty much stuff. As you can see, it's not till about here that they start being kind of empty. And it's not till over there that they're down to like two or three blocks per chest. So that's a lot of stuff. The only reason the early ones are empty, like this one, that one, is because I pulled all the cobblestone out and through, ran it through the recycler to make two large chestfuls of scrap. This chest here is empty. And then this chest, what's cool about it, this chest is I can just toss stuff in it and it gets pulled out through, goes through this pipe and then drops down into here and then gets resorted. Anything coming in here that's not dirt, gravel, or cobblestone goes this way, to this uh, diamond pipe here. And then all this stuff gets pushed out that way, everything else comes in here. So this is my overflow chest, so obsidian and diamonds and anything else that doesn't meet any sorting criteria gets dumped in here. And yes, that's 43 diamonds from that room. So over here, I've got my iron, uh, tin, and copper, and flint. And then goes over, comes over to here. And then this stuff goes to the blue line. This stuff goes to the red lines. So over here, I've got more copper, tin, and then a bunch of coal. And then over here, I have a bunch of redstone, gold, lapis, and uranium. I don't think I'm ever going to need redstone again. You also might have noticed that down here I have an ender pearl. That makes three that I have now so far. The other's back in my chest, in my other main base. Anyway, so today's, or actually, <laughs> this episode's project is going to be putting some cabling back down here so this is hooked back up again as well as hook up the MFSUs as well as building my quantum suit because I have enough matter and enough scrap that I should be able to do it in this episode so that's very good I don't need those anymore but before I can get to that I need to build some advanced machines because these machines you just aren't cutting it. So what you do is you grab a machine like that 
And I'll grab that, and that, and that. Okay. So now, pull this out, put it there, put that there. Hmm. Actually, didn't, don't want the extractor, but there. Anyway, and then you put copper around like that, and you get an induction furnace. Put a compressor there, and then put obsidian around like this, and you get a singularity compressor. Commissurator there, iron around it like that, refined iron, rotary macerator. Now, with the exception of the induction furnace, these tools are not in vanilla industrial craft. These tools, these um, advanced machines. The compressor goes there. And actually, I forgot a step. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I think I have some redstone over in this chest. Just, yep. Get in. A few pieces. Yeah. Now I'm aware that a lever works just as well, but I've got so much redstone. Anyway, what you have to do is you have to. Oops, did not mean to do that. What in the world? Mm, I'll fix it later. All right. The advanced machines require. A, uh, a redstone current. Put a redstone current under them and they'll start to heat up. Or in this case, build pressure. And that way they'll always be at full capacity. Put a macerator there, it lights up. And then put uh, let's see. Mount it on the wall here. Okay. Now this takes a long time to build up heat, but then eventually these will all be fully charged, if you will, and they'll be able to compress really fast and macerate really fast and smelt really fast. So just to give an example here, got two stacks of whatever, plop it down like that, and it's going slow now, but when it gets up to 100% heat, it will go blazingly fast. It goes through and smelts two stacks simultaneously, so that's really useful. Then I can come over here, and it only has one slot input, but it has two output slots, which means it can take a full stack in and output two full stacks. Because it ha it's factoring in the doubling effect of ore to um, dust, so that's useful. So while that stuff charges, I'm gonna go get some of the resources that I'll be needing. Alright, so how's this thing? Okay, good. Another piece of mass. Not matter. Um, okay, so I'm gonna need bring some iron here. Can't quite bring all of it. Let's see, if I drop this... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Also included in the ropes mod is and the reason, the main reason why I got it is the grappling hook, which basically does what um, um, SDK's grappling hook did way back um, before I upgraded to 1.7.3. Before I upgraded to 1.7.3, I had a, the grappling hook, and it was awesome. Then I upgraded to 1.7.3, and it hadn't upgraded yet, and I figured, man, I'll just drop it and get it back when it upgrades, but then the thing is, it never upgraded. And, uh, so, yeah. So now I've got it back. It's kind of useful. It has a minimum range, or not a minimum, a maximum range. Like, the cable it drops only goes down so far. So, that's a little disappointing. Anyway, so I dropped that on there. That let that work for a minute. Let's see here. We'll put 
put this up here. Like that. That in like that. Get in there. I need a total of 280. And right now, I only have 252. So I need another 28, which considering the amount of scrap I have, should not be a problem. See how fast that's going? Much faster than traditional macerators. In fact, this one macerator is going faster than all my other macerators combined, practically. So then I can come over here, and it's still only at 48 heat, but still. Pop that down, pop that down. Going pretty quick there. Alright, so that's going good. Won't need the compressor compressor just yet. I'll get to that shortly. So I'm basically I'm going to spend the next few minutes processing my ores, most of my iron. I'm gonna just turn all my iron into ordinary uh, into refined iron, because I need lots of refined iron. Um I'm gonna leave all the tin and copper down here with the flint. I mean to bring the diamonds. I'm gonna leave the obsidian because I don't, don't have. Well, actually, I'm gonna bring, yeah, a stack of the obsidian. Okay, let's see. Um, don't really need redstone. I've got plenty of lapis, but I'll bring that anyway. Mm, actually, I think I will need the redstone. Yeah. Okay, so I'll bring a couple stacks of redstone. I don't really need coal, and I can come back come back for that. Okay, I think I should have everything I need except for the mass. Meh, matter. I keep saying mass. So I need 27 more. So I'm gonna take this scrap and toss it in here. If it takes half a stack to make one matter, then I should need to go. Th I'll have to go through nine, 13 and a half stacks do the trick. So, through the magic of editing, I'm going to speed this part up a minute, a little bit. So this is kind of interesting. I came down underneath my face here because I wanted to make sure that nothing had happened to my redstone. And I come down here and I discover that my monostable circuit's been broken. Which essentially means that an enderman came by and stole a block that was sitting there that would have made it work. So I've made it a cobblestone block now, so that shouldn't happen again. But that is just really, really irritating. What's missing here? No, I know what's missing. Huh. You know what that means? That means I, I was a red stone was stolen from me. <sighs> That's just frustrating. I better convert this whole thing to only use cobblestone so this doesn't happen again. That's just frustrating. Anyway, so I was fixing up my farm and harvesting the wheat and replanting it when the Enderman spawned inside my tree farm again. <coughs> wasn't for the fact that I'm pretty sure they broke my, uh... <laughs> Guess he's afraid of me. Broke my redstone circuitry a little bit. I wouldn't mind them, but... It is so annoying. There he is. And they hardly ever drop ender pearls. Anyway. Okay, so... Took a while, but I now have... Enough matter to build all the iridium I need. So, we'll do that now. And like that. Iridium ore. So now I have 40 iridium ore. So now I come over here. Grab 40 advanced alloys. 10 diamonds. 
kind of like that. Three, four in the corners, all the way like that. Ten iridium plates. Now, I need another four diamonds, redstone, and some lapis. Like that. Gonna set those there for the moment. I need a couple of those. Let's see. I'm gonna smelt up this sand here. Fortunately, they uh, lost power a little bit because they had a momentary power drain, and so they uh, all the advanced machines they lost power, and when they lost power, they uh, lost their charge, because they drain EUs continuously to keep that up. So, it's a bit disappointing, but oh well. Alright. Like this. Like that. And one more. There we go. Reinforce glass. So that's what I need there, and then for the advanced circuits, I need to first make a couple more electronic circuits. So, grab some of that, and that, like that, and that, like that, there we go, and then to run over here. Skeleton sounds suspiciously close. Hmm. Oh well. Alright. Uh, where was I thinking? Oh yeah, advanced circuits. Electronic circuits like that. Like that. Like that. There. Three advanced circuits. Now, I'm actually curious, I'm going to need some more um, electronic circuits. And I don't actually have enough copper cables. So, it looks like I could build a few more copper cables. Oh, I see. There we go. That should last me a good long time. And since I stockpiled rubber, since I was thinking ahead, very nice. There we go. And you can't make two X insulated copper cable, only one X. Put that there. Okay. And I come back over here. Like that. Like that. And then like that. And I need forty-eight. So forty-eight. No, I don't need forty-eight. Excuse me. Now I need eight of these. Yeah. No. Eight electronic circuits. Okay, now I think I'm good. All right, so take. Actually, we need more right here. Okay, now four diamonds like that. Let's see, like that, like that. Four energy crystals, which don't stack. Joy. Four energy crystals, and then there we go. Lapatron crystal. Okay, like that. Which it also doesn't stack, but oh well. 
that, and like that. So now I have four uncharged Labatron crystals. So now, I should be able to do Labatron crystal, reinforced glass, and oh, I don't have them on me. Grab the iridium plating, put that away, because I'm done with that, put that away, grab that, put that away. Okay. Now, here we go. That, and that, 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 and yes, quantum suit helmet. Alright. Um, Body armor is like that, 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 there, 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 there. Very nice. Quantum suit body armor. For the quantum suit leggings, I need stuff here. I need these guys. Uh, here. Like that, like that. That, like that. There, there. And the crystal. Very nice. And then finally, for the boots, forgot something. <coughs> eh, forgot the rope. I need... Actually, no, I need more than that. There. And then I need some wool. that there and they don't stack naturally but that's okay that there that there that there that there wait what was that <coughs> two rubber boots makes a rubber boot that's a weird one like that like that and leptron quantum suit boots <coughs> and there you go one quantum suit so now, I just need to build the jetpack, which is made with, let's see, I need a bat box. I need to charge my suit, actually, as well. So let's put that there, that there, that there, that there, see how that does. And let's see, for a bat pack, some copper. Bat pack. What am I thinking? I need, I need bat box. Ugh. And for a bat box, I need tin. Let's see. Yeah, it should be enough tin. Now I need some wood. Let's come back over here. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna need. Don't want a lot of wood, just need a little bit. There we go. Alright, so now. Uh, redstone. So, that, that, and that, three batteries, like that, 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 and like that, one bat box, and then, let's see, grab that, advanced circuit, bat box, that and electric jetpack. Nice. Okay. So now I'm just gonna pile everything back in this chest. Let's see here. Wood goes back over here. Rope I'm gonna leave there. Rope is used in building the grappling hook. You take three string, put it in a vertical pattern, and it makes rope. And then you use the rope and the piece of iron in a vertical pattern to make the grappling hook. Okay, so come over here, put this there with the wiring, put this over here with the sand, this up there with the refined iron, this up there with the tin, hmm. I don't need to carry the battery with me. 
I'm gonna leave that here. One less thing to carry around. I am going to need a couple more electronic circuits, though. Let's see. That. I only need two more. Then I've said that before. <laughs> I don't like how some numbers just don't uh, divide out properly. Or whatever. I mean, they divide out properly, they just don't divide out the way I want them to. That. Do that. Grab some glowstone. Well, actually, I don't. No, I only want the one advanced circuit. advanced circuit and then I need to grab a bunch more lapis Let's see and that should be what I need let's see here yeah this is close enough I think there we go six of those. So now, hopefully, this will work. Ah, good. One lap pack. It's like a super bat pack. And actually, you know what? I should have used the other one. Hmm. Ah, well. I guess I can just enchant this easily enough. Alright, so now, put that back in there. I'm almost done here building stuff. Let's see, now... Where did, okay, here, and then I need that, I already got that, I've got these, so I'll put that back there, right, and put that there, oh no, I need more, go, okay, makes this, and that makes this, there, like that, 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 nano saber. This thing is awesome. Okay, diamond sword. I'll get back in here. I put there, I guess, for the time being. Okay, so that's done. Now, let's see. I'm gonna have to build more copper cables. Hey, I go through copper cables really fast here, building this high-level stuff. Oh, <laughs> that works out perfectly. Okay, except now I'm short two. That's just funny. All right, so let's build a nice chunk here. not going to ever be short on copper, ever. Here. Like that. And like that. frequency transmitters, which they don't stack, unfortunately. And then, let's see, need some more glowstone. This is the last thing I need to build, and then I'm free to be exploring. So, let's see, I'm going to need some more advanced alloys. Right, so then alloys. I 
Okay, I don't have to smelt the tin. No, I have the iron. Okay. So, oops. Do that. Do that. And that. Make those. Toss these in here. Wait five seconds or less. <laughs> and then that. Like that. That. Make a couple more of those. And then finally, those like that, those like that, those like that. Like that, and teleporter. How nice. And teleporter. How nice. So now, just need to build one more frequency transmitter and I'm done like that and that and that like that and oh yeah I need that and there we go there and there done okay so now, I just have to make sure everything is charged up, get rid of anything I don't want to risk losing, and I can go exploring. I'm going to leave one teleporter here, obviously, and I think I'll leave the bat pack here as well, probably. Because now that I've got the lap pack, I don't need anything else. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, this is going to take some time to charge. So let's see. Obviously, I can't charge this in here. I can't charge this in here either. Yep. What about an MFE? Can I charge it in an MFE? Ah, I can. Check that out. the mass fabricator turned off right now so I could stockpile the energy because I knew I'd need to be charging the quantum suit. Is it in here? Nice. This thing can hold a memory serve 300,000 EUs so it'll take a nice long time to decharge. So I think as soon as that's done charging I'm gonna go down plunk my teleporter Ooh, I should bring I'll need to bring obsidian with me. My flint and steel. Hmm. Just thinking where would be where did I put my flint and steel? I think I used them all up. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I'll just make a new one then. So as soon as this finishes charging here. Almost done. Oh, it is done. <laughs> Alright, so that's done. Come back over here. Let's see. Um, what about the jet pack? I guess I can put that on. Don't need these anymore. So, I'm going to put them here. Like that. So now I'll alternate between those as needed. I'll go down and place the. Ooh! Need to charge my nano saber. I need to charge my suit as well. So I'll turn these on. So now it'll charge that. Let's see, I don't think I can charge as my nano saber in this MFE, but I can try. Oh, it can. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't hold much power because it's powered by an energy crystal. So it's easy to charge, but also it's easy to discharge. But boy, is it powerful. All right. And it actually can draw from a lap pack as well, so that's good. OK. So now 
basically just have to wait until it's done charging, which is going to take a long, long time. So, let's see, I'm going to go place the teleporter and grab the obsidian and flint and steel. Ah, I have a flint and steel. Sweet. Um, I think I'm going to grab the obsidian here. Should only bring 10 obsidian, so only going to bring 10 obsidian. Um, so 10 obsidian, flint and steel, I've got my map stuff. Now let's go place those teleporters. Uh, place them down over here. Alright, so I've got that. Uh, dig a tunnel down over the direction, over in this direction here. And then I'll have my teleporter. So I'll do this, and then when I finish this, I'll have this all set up. And I'll have my quantum suit charged. So next episode, I will be able to go exploring. Oh, hey, iron. How oh, nice. Not that I really care about getting iron now, since I've got so much of it. But it's always fun to get stuff like that. All right. So yeah, this has been a good part, I think. So I'll see you in the next part. Bye.